Hello everyone, welcome back. In this session, we would learn how to solve the practice problem. Check if the str given strings are rotation of each other or not. Okay. So basically, in this question, we are given two strings S1 and S2. Let's say S1 is geeks for geeks. Okay. And S2 is for geeks, geeks. Okay. So these are the two strings. Now basically I need to check if S2 has the rotation of S1 in any way or not. Okay. Now what I can clearly see is that over here I can see that you know basically this portion is the rotation left rotation of S1 right. Basically this portion is the left rotation of S1. Okay, so this means S2 does have rotated version of S1, right? Basically, S2 is the rotated version of S1, right? Is rotated, left rotated version of S1, right? So, S2 is the rotated version of S1. So, that means my output for this question would be 1, okay? Because left rotation has occurred in S1 to give S2. I hope the question is clear to you. Now let's solve the question. What you need to do is you need to go to the practice portal. In practice portal in the difficulty section you need to choose basic. Then you need to find the problem. Check if strings are rotation of each other or not. Okay. Once you find the question you need to click on solve. Okay. Here is the question. Let's read it. Given two strings S1 and S2. The task is to check if S2 is a rotated version of the string S1. The characters in the strings are lowercase. Okay, this is the question and we need to code it here. Okay, so let's code the question now. One minute, let's code it. Okay, first for i in range. Okay, now what is my range? My range is starting from 0 comma length of S1. Okay, because I need to check for rotation. Colon enter. S1 equal to S1. Okay, I need to check if rotation is applicable or not. 1 colon length of what? Length of S1. Okay, then plus S1 square bracket 0. Enter. Next is if S1 is equal, equal to S2 in any way. Okay, if it's equal, enter. Then you need to return with true. Okay. So basically what I did is I rotated S1, then I am comparing S1 and S2 and I am checking now after rotation is S1 equal to S2 because after rotation if both of them are equal that means the rotation has occurred right. So that is why return true else what you need to do you need to return false right. So return false. Now I need to check if the solution is correct or not so I would click on compile and run. Let's wait. So compilation is completed. My output is matching with the expected output. So now I would submit the given problem. Okay, so let's wait. There is an error. Let's see where the error is coming. Okay, one minute. The input is large. So I think there has been a mistake. Let's see what is the mistake. Okay, so self S1, S2 for i in range 0 to length of S1. Then S1 equal to S1, 1 colon length S1. Okay, plus S10, then if S1 equal to okay. Now let me submit it once more. Let's wait because the solution is correct. Let's wait for some time. Okay, the problem is solved successfully. There were some uh, you know internet issues because of that the error was coming. So I, have, I hope the problem is clear to you and you guys enjoyed the session. If you guys have enjoyed the session, make sure you click on the like button and thank you for joining me today. Thank you.